Cook Islands made a swift start to the game with William Napa and Geosa George showing the finer points of their skill sets in an effort to take an early advantage. But with American Samoa having shuffled captain Gabriel Tamua into the back line and bringing on Joe Purcell in the middle, they had a strong spine that made things challenging for their opponents. Keeper John Ugaitafa was called into action fairly frequently in the first half and his opposite, Manariki Pierre, wasn't without some scares of his own. American Samoa striker Takai Puli looked threatening on a number of occasions, causing trouble behind the back line with his pace. Conroy Tipatua's physical presence made him a threat at the best of times. A poorly executed goal kick allowed him to charge into the penalty area with the ball and tuck it past a helpless Ugaitafa to open the scoring. He followed that up less than five minutes later when he powered a header in, finishing off a perfectly delivered corner from Napa. The two-goal advantage didn't last as long as the Cook Islands were hoping when the ever-present Pooley finished off a brilliant piece of play from American Samoa to keep his side in the game going into the second half. A double change for Cook Islands at halftime gave the side fresh legs to rely on and for a sustained period they dominated, but for some poor finishing. Late brilliance from Kimura Namatua eventually made the victory clear after weaving his way into position to slot lower on the Ugaitafa with just a minute remaining before the final whistle. Jeremy Mogi, National MTV Sports.